an hour. If you can't tell, it's not treating us so well. It's about an hour till sunrise right now, hour 15. And uh, we're looking like, according to the weather, we're going to be in for a, a few good days of some rough weather. I'm not talking about just rain. I'm talking about thunderstorms. Tomorrow, the wind, today the wind gets up to 38 mile an hour gust. Tomorrow, supposed to get some hail and the gusts are up to 52 miles an hour, it says. So, not just your typical bad weather. We got a thunderstorm rolling in right now. Lightning popping. Of course, it's raining. So, one of the uh, drawbacks of living out of a truck is uh, trying to deal with the rain. You're keeping your stuff somewhat dry. I don't know. We're going to have to wait this one out and see how it goes and just kind of ride the wave here and see if we can't find a turkey amongst this somehow because we can't just uh, ride the bench for three days. we got to be in Kentucky on the 25th, so... stuff has set in gonna set in for a couple hours according to the radar so what we're fixing to do is we're gonna crawl in the back and continue getting the little z's on sleep <clears throat> as soon as it stops i'll know it because it'll not be pounding on the on the truck so um yeah i was kind of off to a rocky start so hopefully it'll get better here soon and we'll get to get out there and get after them see one hear one something We got her going. We're going off into the timber. That's why I heard a turkey gobble way down in here. It's, the rain slacked up to a drizzle and I got out of the truck. And I uh, heard a turkey gobble. And now we're here. I got my rain pants and stuff on, but I've just got my jacket in the back because it's not raining at the moment but I think it's just a temporary thing but uh, the wind's supposed to get up to 40 something today so I'm trying to I'm thinking that right after this wind I mean right after this rain the wind hadn't picked up so try to use it Expanse, and he's on the other side. Way up here, we go around. I think that's what we want to do. We've made the loop and got over here on the side of the drain that he's on. He just gobbled. He's obviously flown down because his gobbling slowed tremendously. I've been standing back there waiting on him to give me one. And he did, and I'm pretty sure it was over this next little finger ridge. So that's what we're gonna do is try to go up one more finger ridge and repeat. See if we can get a, a good idea on where he's at. And honestly, right now it ain't bad at all. The wind is starting to kick up. I can feel it coming. But it ain't here yet. I just know that I'm on hard time, so I'm trying to make the most of it. Hang on, deer from that turkey. It's gotten dark, 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 dark. And I hope it misses us because the radar says it's gonna split us, but it sure don't sound like it is. And it's dark as midnight. But the turkey was roosted somewhere right in here. I thought. I don't know. I guess he may have went that way. I don't know. Trying to find him, he hadn't gobbled. Or if he has, I haven't heard him. Crows are going, owls are going, geese are going, thunder's going. But the turkey ain't going. I'm pushing a little bit quicker than I'd like to, because I'd really like to sit back there and wait on that turkey to gobble. I don't want to bump him, but I'm having to push. 
push a little harder than I want to because of the weather. I'm going to borrow time. This truck wanted to gobble in this gloomy day, so I was going to try to take advantage of it. But he just lured me way around here so I can get wet and struck by lightning, probably. Ridge of here from us. Got a real short gobble. There's some Jake's caulking with him, so I don't, I don't know if I ain't gone to a goblin Jake. It's a long beard and some jakes. And uh, sat down right there for a minute or two because I heard them over like putting and kind of, you know, I don't know, making a little racket. And then I got quiet. He wouldn't respond to a call. I thought, huh. Well, yeah, he was hitting every one of them. And uh, so I sat down to. See if I thought they may be like trying to get across the bottom to come to me, so I kind of got to sit down and buckle down a little bit. And uh, nothing, didn't hear anything by the time. I guess it's him that gobbled way on up, like he put a couple hundred yards between us. And I thought that's weird. So uh, about the time he gobbled, finally I went to stand up, and Coyote was right on me. I guess he busted him, and then came to my yelping and. Then I busted him. Well, I didn't shoot him. I busted him as in he started running. But we're going to make a big loop and get on that same ridge now as those turkeys are and see if we can't get close. The weather is still cooperating for now. We were over there. We made a loop around. We've got this little shallow dip that kind of feeds up into the ridge that those turkeys were on. And we're going to ease up in here and see if we can't get up here amongst them.
was set up and the turkey that I was setting up on started moving toward a turkey that started gobbling on the other ridge and brought him right past me like 25 or 30. I caught a glimpse of him right here and he gobbled. I could have stood up and shot him. But you can see there's a lot of this multiflora rose and stuff in here. <clears throat> I yelped at the turkey and he dropped hard. Then he disappeared so I'm assuming he fell off the ridge to go confront that other turkey but I haven't heard him fighting or nothing and he had gobbled again so I don't, I don't know what's going on. But that about came together quick. just called again right as I'm talking instead of every time I've called but I know there's Jake's back here with it I think this is a turkey we were calling to from the other side that had the Jake's with it The two long beards went behind us.
out, so he's, of course, a couple steps outside of where I want to shoot him. Man, I wish I had my big camera. It'd be beautiful footage right here. He's just strutting down there with him. It's just full blue. You can see him going up this ridge over here. The finger that goes out that field. Most of the turkeys cross this ravine. Headed up that side. Looks like three, three hens maybe. Stayed on this side and he stayed with them. It's a huge flock of turkeys. No bad one don't end up biting me. We got it on here. Well, I kind of went a little bit 2018 Penhody and put the camera back in here and slid up there. But with me wrestling with the camera and stuff, they had trying to just get something, set the camera up and talk to the camera and stand up and video him strutting over there when I get a glimpse of him. By the time I got up there, they were at 50. I got had him at 50, maybe a shade under. I had him much closer right here. I just, it was right over the top of this ridge and there was all this junk and there was no way to get a clear shot. And I thought I could get another 10 and really be able to pick a hole. But by the time I got down there, the hen just started drifting. Some of them went across the ravine and went back this way and he's kept four with him. And they went up into this private field. So, out of the ball game. See what time it is. I ain't got a clue. I've been on my belly for like an ever, it seems like. Yeah, the turkey gobbled a couple times back in there. Maybe we'll see if we can't strike him. Okay. Fixing to ease up to the top here. Hopefully he'll gobble again and we can put something together for him. I'll bump this turkey. Lord of mercy, I have screwed it all up. That's the only thing I can figure. I thought the turkey was on this ridge right out in front of me. When he gobbled, it just made sense. It made a loop and sort of topping these little, uh, little finger ridges that all dumped down. I was topping a few of them. That one back there, I came over the top and a big turkey flushed out of the, the very bottom. But it didn't look like it had a big red head or white blue head. Just like a hen to me, but it was a big turkey. But that turkey that was free goblin, ain't goblin no more. Which now granted, when I started moving, he, I, I thought I had walked out of earshot of him, honestly. Or I thought I'd gotten a hill between me and him that wasn't allowing me to hear him. But it had to be him because I'm, I'm here now and he ain't. So... I have chased turkeys all flipping day and I ain't shot one yet. I've been in shotgun range at least twice between two different turkeys. And I ain't killed one till yet. It's 12.30. I was <laughs> supposed to make this just a quick morning. Spend most of the day editing because I'm so far behind. And here it is, nearly 1 o'clock. I am a long, long flipping away from the truck. I'm talking, God, I'm long way. They win, because I'm picking the pack my stuff up. I got to, God got to accomplish some stuff today. So. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.